Here's how to install your new eSIM on an iPhone or iPad. eSIM is already supported on a variety of iPhones and iPads, but start by making sure yours is compatible. It's a good idea to install your eSIM before leaving on a trip, so you have a solid connection to download it. But wait to activate your eSIM until you've arrived at your destination, where it can connect to the correct network. You can install your eSIM using the free AlloSIM app or by logging into your account on allosim.com. To begin your eSIM installation, open AlloSIM and select My eSIMs. Select the eSIM you want to install, then choose Install your eSIM. You can choose between automatic eSIM installation, QR code eSIM installation, or manual eSIM installation. Most iPhones and iPads support our automatic installation flow, so just tap Install Now. For QR code eSIM installation, scan the code with the camera on your phone or share the code to another device so you can scan it there. The manual eSIM installation involves copying and pasting two codes into your device settings. Follow the instructions below the manual tab. No matter which installation method you choose, now it's time to add your new cellular plan by tapping the blue button. You may be asked to label your eSIM plan so you can identify it later. You may also be asked to choose a default line for calls and messages. Select your primary line since eSIMs don't come with phone numbers. You may also be asked to choose a plan for iMessage and FaceTime. Keep your primary plan selected and you can change this setting later if you'd like. Now it's time to choose your default line for cellular data. If you're ready to start using your AlloSIM data immediately, select your eSIM and keep Allow Cellular Data Switching toggled off. If you're going to use your AlloSIM data later, select your primary plan for now. That's it, your eSIM has been successfully installed. Once you're in the correct country, here's how to activate your eSIM and begin using AlloSIM data. But first things first, if you have a primary data plan, you'll want to make sure your carrier can't charge you roaming fees. Open Settings, then choose Cellular, and tap on your primary plan. Make sure data roaming is toggled off for your primary line. This prevents your carrier back home from charging you roaming fees. Once data roaming is off, it's fine to leave your primary line on, just be aware that your carrier may charge you small fees for active phone calls or texts that occur internationally. There won't be any charge for iMessages, since those are sent over the internet. Now that you don't have to worry about roaming charges, here's how to activate your eSIM package and start using your data. Open Settings, then choose Cellular and tap on your AlloSIM plan. Toggle Turn On This Line to On and make sure data roaming is on for AlloSIM so we can find the best available network. Your network selection should already be set to automatic so you only connect to supported networks. And your cellular data APN should automatically be set to AlloSIM. To make sure your iMessage is working correctly with your new eSIM, go to Settings, Messages and iMessage. Make sure you can receive iMessages to and reply from your Apple ID email address. This means that even if you switch off your phone number while you're away, you can still iMessage as usual. Finally, you'll want to tell your device to rely only on your eSIM for data. Go to Settings, then Cellular, then tap Cellular Data. Under Cellular Data, check off your AlloSIM plan as your data source. Then, make sure Allow Cellular Data Switching is toggled off so your device doesn't try to switch back to your primary data plan. At the top of your screen, you'll be able to see all active SIMs, including your eSIM. And if you swipe down from the top right corner, you'll be able to see which cellular networks are in use. Here we see AlloSIM, A, is the primary source of data but the primary line, P, is still on, so this user can call and text on their regular phone number. Congratulations, you did it! Now you can enjoy your AlloSIM data and stay connected, all without worrying about roaming charges. 
If you want to know how much data is remaining in your package, go to AlloSim, select My eSIMs, and tap on the eSIM to check its data balance. If you need more data, you can top up your eSIM anytime. Once you return home and you're finished using your eSIM, you can switch back to your regular data plan. Select your primary data plan and make sure it's toggled on. Then select your eSIM and toggle it off. Now that you're back at home, go to Cellular Data and choose your primary plan as your main source of data. eSIMs never expire, so you can keep your AlloSIM eSIM on your device 